it's Marion again here. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining again. This is the um, equivalent fractions for Key Stage 2. And so this is definitely year three. They start doing them in pictures, but I'm going to move on to doing it in numbers, which is much more year four upwards. Um, so let's get going. Ten minutes on a ten minute math, maths blast. I'll see if I can do it in eight. Shall I get it quick for you? So just as a recap with pictures with equivalent fractions, if I have a half, okay, you know that that is one half. Can I show exactly the same amount on this diagram, which is split into four? So these are quarters. So exactly the same amount is shown like that, which instead of being one out of one, one of the equal parts, it's two out of the four equal parts. So one half is equivalent to two quarters. It's equal, it's equivalent. They're exactly the same amount, even though the numbers are different, they actually represent exactly the same amount. So if this was a, um, a chocolate bar, I love a chocolate bar. If this was a chocolate bar and I said to you, would you like half or would you like two quarters? You'd say, uh, they are the same amount. So it's just getting the same amount, but using different numbers. Exactly the same on this one. This one's been divided into three equal parts. So if I have two of those, that would be two thirds. Now, to get the same amount here, I would need to, these are cut into sixths. So we're talking about six. How many sixths is the same as two thirds? Well, I need, that's one third, and then two thirds. So I need four sixths. Now, the important learning point here is what we do to both the numerator and the denominator. So if you look at both my examples, one has turned into a two. So we've doubled it, it's times by two. The two has turned into a four. So that has also doubled or times by two. This one times by two again, we've got two times two is four and three times two is six. So do you see what we do to the top number, we must also do to the bottom number. So what I'd like you to do in your books or on a nice piece of paper is you can get your colored pencils out. This is quite a colorful thing to do. And we're going to make fraction families. So let's start with three quarters. And we're not going to do this with pictures, we're just going to do it with numbers, but we're going to apply the same rule to each one. So you can choose any number you want, but we're going to multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number. So for example, let's start with two. So two times three is six, and two times four is eight. So six eighths is equivalent to three quarters. We can then do times it by three. So three times three is nine, and three times four is 12. So nine twelfths is the same as three quarters. Well, you can go a little bit, um, you can go up one, two, three, four, times it by two, three, four, five, six, or you could go straight to 10. 10 times three is 30, four times 10 is 40. So 30 fortieths is the same or equivalent to three quarters. You see, we can keep going with this. So we can times them both by um, eight. Three times eight is 24. Four times, four times eight is 32. 24 32ths. So you can carry on. You can make a nice web of numbers, of fractions, that are all exactly the same amount. They're just written in different ways. Okay, so that's quite a nice thing for you to do. And then you can maybe put it up somewhere nice. Um, we'll just have it in your book to refer back to. Try doing it with different fractions in the middle. So try putting, instead of three quarters, try putting four fifths or um, seven ninths, you know, make it trickier. See if you can find all those equivalent fractions. Then once you've worked out how to find all the equivalent fraction families, we need to do it the other way around, which is called simplifying. Okay, so if we have a fraction that is not in its lowest terms or its simplest form, we need to make that those numbers in that fraction smaller. 
the fraction itself stays exactly the same, but we need to make the number smaller. So very simply, if I started with um, 15 twentieths, if I have that number, I can see that that's not in its lowest term. So I need to do the opposite of what we were just doing. We were just multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Now we've got to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So I'm going to look at these two numbers and think, right, what, mm, 15 and 20, they are in which times table? Well, they are both in the five times table, aren't they? They're both in the five times table. So I can divide them both by five. So, and this can help if we draw a little arch in to divide by five. So turn the numerator, divide by five, that turns into a three. And then the denominator, we have to do the same. So divide by five as well. So that turns into a four. There's three quarters. So that's in its lowest terms. You can't make it any smaller than that, but they're exactly the same amount. Good. We might need to do it two or three times. So we could have, um, if I had 16 twentieths, very similar to the last one we did actually, but 16 twentieths. You can say, right, 16 and 20, easy peasy, they both divide by two. So let's divide them both by two. So we can draw an little arch, divide by two. 16 divided by two is eight. And 20 divided by two is 10. Now, we've got eight tenths. Is that in its smallest terms yet? No, it's not because we can divide them both by two again. So we're gonna divide that one by two again, and that one by two again. And so eight divided by two is four, and 10 divided by two is five four-fifths. We can't go any further than that. Okay, so that is equivalent fractions. So you could, once you've done your, your, like, your fraction family with your smallest fraction in the middle, then making all your equivalent fractions around it, you could do the reverse and put these, make, make up fractions here and see how small you can make them. So can you work out what this one is? 28 uh 28 is 28 sixtieths mm -hmm. can you work that one out can you work out this one 32 eightieths okay so have a little go at those see if you can work them out and let me know how you get on Hope you enjoyed this one. And the last one for this week will be um, it will be adding and divide, adding and subtracting fractions, because you need to know how to do this to be able to add and subtract fractions. So we'll take it to the next step in the next session. Take care. Thank you so much for joining. Bye. Yes.